YouTube. Short guy here with another tutorial on Cinema 4D about basic animation. Today we are going to be doing a camera animation, so let's start out with another basic setup. Go over to the light, select floor, then select a cube, bring it up. And now let's go back to the light and select a camera. Before you do anything, make sure that you rename your camera so you don't get mixed up because having a whole bunch of cameras and they all being named camera can get very confusing. So let's name this camera cube. Now that you've done that, all you, all you can see that's changed is really just these green lines. Now if you zoom out and turn a little bit, you will start to see your camera. And there's your camera. So let's zoom out a little bit and try and get a good view. I'm just going to get a little bit. Nah, Alright, that's good. Now, let's come back down here to the three red circles. Select the middle one for auto keyframe, and then make sure you're on zero, and select the left one for your first keyframe. And bring up the frames to about 200. Make the bar so you can see it all. Now, let's go up to about 50. Bring the camera over to the the left corner I believe the left corner of the yeah the left corner of the cube and as you see it's not facing it anymore so let's fix that by going up here in the top left corner there is a like sort of two arrows like touching each other so select that now you will have these circles Use the green one to turn it towards your cube and make sure that the middle one is now facing your cube. And just to make sure, if you ever want to look at what your camera is viewing, you can come up here to cameras, go down to scene cameras, and select whichever camera you want to view. Or in this case, it would be camera cube. Now look at that. See? Now you're going to want to pay attention to this a lot more or else stuff like this could happen. Now... Let's make. Let's go back to editor camera. Point it a little bit more to the corner and face it down a little bit. Well, hang on. Let's change our view so we can get a. Aha. It's not even like in the corner. All right. Well, it'd probably be best that it's in the corner. So let's do that. Rotate it down a little bit to the side now let's see if it's facing it now there we go now let's go back to editor camera bring it to the other corner Whoop! make sure you select 100 first common mistake that I make so get a view over here bring it up where am I going eh, hold up Now that you brought it over there, let's do the same thing. Make it, well, go over here to turn it. Turn it towards, towards the cube again. Let's view the camera cube, make sure it's on it. There we go. Go back to editor camera. This is going to not really look that good because it's just a really quick tutorial to show you guys how to do this and you guys can mess around with this a lot more than this. Now let's bring it up to about 150. Go over to the other corner. Let's see here. Now, just that. Down here. Eh. Probably going to have to play around with this a little bit. So patient. There we go. Now, turn it towards the cube again. Yeah. 
That's a little low. Let's bring it up a little bit. Bring it up and tilt it down. Now let's view our camera. Looks pretty good. We're on it. Back to editor camera. Go back to your last frame, 200. And bring it over to the last corner. Now let's turn it, make sure it's facing it again. View our camera. Oh, there we go. Up. Oh, save this. Let's go back to editor camera and hold it a little bit. Let's turn it so that. Trying to get the right angle, sorry, with the camera is probably the hardest thing about an animation. But there we go. So, that's about right. It's not perfect, but you guys can do a lot more than this. So now, let's go, well first, let's go over to the little playback section next to the three circles. Go back to the first frame. Hit the right one, the right green arrow. As you can see, our camera is going around the cube. And if we want to see what the camera is actually seeing in motion, let's do the same thing. Go up to scene cameras, camera cube, and now play back. As you can see, we are going around the, the cube successfully and, and keeping our lens on it. It's not perfect. You guys could probably do this a lot better. As I said, like five other million times. But that's about it. So now let's go up to... Render it. Let's go to our render settings. General full render output. Select your screen. Make sure that your down the frame range is all frames. Go over to save. Hit the three little dots. Let's save this as camera animation. Save whatever you want. Select your format. I'm going to use AVI file and. Close that out and hit the middle button, and that's about it. Now we're rendering, and then you will see your animation. So thank you for watching again. More tutorials to, to come. Sorry. Blech. I can't talk today. And so more tutorials to come. And be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.